So guys, Liam Muki here, and I'm back to what if Izuku had Archer's powers. This is part 20. So in the last part, they did their final exam, and you guys know that I switched up a bit of the pairings, being Bakugo first paired up with Shoto, and Momo and Izuku are paired together instead. So and it turns out both of them all. Oh, the four of them actually did pass their exam, so they won't be getting any, well, remedial classes for the next part. Any anyway, rate, so let's get into that. As everything began, as everyone began going to class as Mina, Kaminari, Kirishima, and Sato are basically worried that they're not going to be able to pass so, because they did, because they failed with Kirishima and Sato lose, losing its Mentos, uh, Mina and Kirishima losing to Principal Nezu. So they so they kind of fear that they're going to lose their lose the chance to go into summer camp at all. Soon after Aizawa came in and begins telling them that they are all going to be able to go to summer camp. As many of them are surprised hearing this. Telling them as tells them it's just the usual thing. Basically saying that they'll never get the chance if they if they didn't give it their all they were never going to go. However, it wouldn't feel right to just abandon a couple students when they could reach higher potentials. However, they will be taking remedial classes during the summer during the summer camp. So they'll still as he also says that Sarah will also be part of their summer classes as well since he failed pre since he got caught pretty easily when he was paired up with Mineta and against oh, Midnight. So after everyone begins preparing, begins being excited and preparing to for summer camp. Since they do have at least two a week before and before they get ready to go, they all prepare for what they're going to be doing. Soon after, they asked everyone if they wanted to go to the mall. As Izuku also tagged along, saying that he needs to get a cup, that he needs to find a find a book on multiple new swords, He's thinking about upping his arsenal a bit. As as Momo begins coming up to him, asking, "So is that all you're going to be getting?" As well, I do need a couple. I do need a little bit of weights and a couple and a new archer's glove. I haven't had a new one in a while. As she, as she decides to tag along, well, she was already planning on tagging along, but she's more motivated this time. She, as, before I go on, you guys said that you wanted Momo and Izuku to be a couple, so I decided to take you up on the offer. She, Momo's hoping that she can finally tell, confess to Izuku how she feels for the time, before the summer camp begins. So let's try getting that. As as everything goes, as, as they all arrive at the arrive at the mall, Izuku begins muttering to himself on which supplies should he need besides getting his besides getting a book on new on new weapons and everything. And as Tokiyama gets annoyed, as soon after everyone leaves to do their own thing, as as Ochiko plans on, decides to leave too. One, saying that she ha that she has to get a couple of things as well, like mostly bug spray. As who realizes that he's all alone, but not really alone. As he sees that Momo is right beside him, and oh, Yairozu, I didn't see you there. Uh, wasn't you going to go with Jiro? I said I would catch up with her later. As he begins. So you're going to a bookstore? Oh yeah, I want to see if it, I just yeah I gotta see if got any new books for me. They began walking as Momo's heart begins racing, wondering if when's the perfect time to say this. As they begin, as they arrive, he, she, she keeps thinking. I have to do this. I just have to. I had to tell him how I feel. If I don't, I'm going to regret it. Soon, soon after she began, she wanted to say something, but they arrive at the bookstore 
where she just waited outside for a bit, where Izuku didn't really, where Izuku came out of the book, came out of the bookstore, and she asked, "Did you find what you were looking for?" As he said, eh, "Not what I was exactly looking for, but something close." As he looks at, "Wait, is that?" "Yep, it's a book on how to make kitchen uh, for ki kitchen knives." So I decided to just take that just in case. I think it feel useful. I think it would be at least some useful, don't you think? As she begins laughing, realize <laughs> you are something. You know that, Midoriya. As uh, I guess that does make me quite of a dork. Soon after, she says, "Yeah, but it's in a cute way." As he's soon wait, cute? As she realized what she just said, and begins getting flustered. I mean, I, I just well. Mm. She laying her head as she puts her head down, realizes that she just said, and as silence is going between them, as well, hey, Yairozu, if you feel comfortable being around me, then that's as she stops him before he could say anything and says, That's not the case. I just want to say that I actually like you a lot. As she realized what she just said again, and Izuku realized, Wait. You like me? Or, uh, as she says, I mean, I do, but I, as she began stuttering over and over and over again, Flint basically saying that she actually loves him before, before Izuku begins blushing hard, realizes what she, he keeps getting, wait, you love me? And she, as she begins just nodding her head, she said, I, like, when did this happen? As she tells him, that's, well, after the sports festival, the way you beat me, you also encouraged me. I, no one has ever encouraged, has ever encouraged me to a point to make me want to do better for myself. I felt like if I lost you, I would feel less of a person. Less, less chance to even become a hero at all. But then you told me I could do, I can be better. To not let one mistake hold me back. So I, as he says, I'm glad. I'm glad I inspired you to be, to be better. I'm glad I inspired you to be a hero. To be more. But. You act, but you began having feelings for me. As she begins nodding again, too nervous to even answer, Shanaz, this is so sudden. I, because I always thought my quirk was useless. I never actually thought that girls would actually like me, like that. So I'm kind of nervous as well. <laughs> I mean, so as she says, so what do you say? Do you, as he says. I'm not so good with relationships because I never had a relationship. As she says, I, I'm the same as well. Soon, Izuku says, so why don't we be a couple? But how about we keep it in secret from the others? I doubt they would take it so, you know, easily. Is Momo says, I think I would like that. As the two began getting close and actually hugged each other. So after they began holding hands, but Izuku realized that he forgot something at the bookstore and had to head back before before Momo just decided to wait for him. And there, Izuku ran into a figure, ran into someone he never thought he would hear. As the person tells him, "Hey, aren't you Izuku Midoriya? You were kind of close, almost winning the sports festival." As he said, oh, so you know me? As, hey, I would like an autograph you could give it if you were, if you're okay with it. So, <laughs> sure. I mean, I didn't expect, I mean, this is the second time we're meeting after all. Don't you agree, Midoriya? Wait, second time? As he raises his head and realizes, let's chat, Izuku Midoriya. As Izuku realizes that it's Tomura Shigaraki. As Momo begins worrying, wondering where Izuku is, 
as she goes back to the bookstore and real and realizes that he's not there and wanting and began tr trying to call him wondering if he already left she decides to just look around before start before calling him again and there izuku's phone begins ringing at a fountain around the fountain where Sh where shigaraki and izuku are talking as he asks tell me midoriya what's so different between me and the hero killer everyone is so excited about him and yet they don't pay the league any mind as izuku says wasn't he a member of the League of Villains? Did, why are you so fixated on, a me on your own member? As he says, that's how the media sees it. But no, he was never a member of us. If anything, he annoyed the hell out of me. So, what's so, so I want to hear it from somebody like you. What makes him so special? As Izuku says, well, I don't agree with any of you. The hero killer was a fanatic. Stain was psychotic, but I think I can understand where he was coming from. That there are heroes that do only care about fame and fortune, that they don't care about saving people and only care about popularity and wealth. So maybe he was a little bit right, but there was one thing that made Stain better than you. He didn't give up on his convictions. He didn't lose him. He didn't whine and complain when he felt like he was backed into a corner. He kept fighting, kept trying to, kept trying to do what he thought was right. That may be the actions of a psychopath, but it's the actions of somebody who has a dream. Not only that, I can relate to him because the two, because I looked up to All Might. He also looked up to All Might as well. But when I see you. All I see is a person that wants to destroy All Might. All, I don't see anyone who has a dream whatsoever. Soon after, Izuku, soon after saying that, Izuku tried to open up his right hand, where he, where he began summoning his Kinshiro blade, hoping that he wouldn't notice. As he puts the blade almost close to his stomach, soon after. Shigaraki realizes, oh, so it does come back to him again. It comes back full circle, back to All Might. Soon after, Shigaraki finally gets it, that the world, that he actually did have a conviction, that he wants to create a world without All Might. As he says, thank you, Izuku Midoriya. I really appreciate it. Because of you, I finally realize why these people are so dense. Why people are so obsessed with the hero killer. As soon after he looks down, he sees that you little. So, it looks like we're both at a standstill. If you, if you even try and touch me with your last finger and dissolve me, I'll stab you right into the gut and you'll bleed out. Sure. It may not be a heroic thing, but at least I'll do some damage to you. To s and I won't be afraid to take you with me. Got it, Shigaraki? Uh, you are something else, you know that. You really are annoying. S All right, then. Let's see who would give in first. Soon after, Momo Shun shows up. Izuku, what are you... Soon she sees she sees the man who has his who has his hands around Izuku's throat, and she begin as she's wondering. Wait, she act she begins trying to activate her quirk. She activates her creation quirk and and creates a stun and creates a stunt baton. And as Izuku says, "Momo, stay back! Don't come any closer!" As he lets go and says, "Oh." You're on a date? I didn't know that. Sorry about that. I'll let you get back to what you were doing. As soon as Momo ran ran to Izuku saying, Are you okay, Izuku? Are you sure? As, as he, as, Bak as Kinshiro basically disappeared, as Izuku was choking, he says, Tomura Shigaraki, 
tell me, what is All for One planning? What is the league up to? As he says, huh, you'll find out soon enough in the future. Right now, enjoy your summer as everything goes out. Soon after, the police begin. Both Izuku and Momo call the police and tell them about what happened, about Shigaraki's appearance. The mall was closed, and Izuku was questioned, just as usual, alongside, and there All Might showed up just like just like in canon, as he's at as he asked the same question about not being able to save everyone, and some people might resent All Might for that, realizing that maybe. Shigaraki resents all resents all might because he couldn't save him. There, Izuku's mother she comes in, basically was worried about him, where she feels like she can't handle if he got hurt again, as Izuku apologizes to his mother, say, saying that he won't let this happen again, that he promised. And that's it. Thanks guys for watching. I really appreciate it a lot. I hope you enjoyed it. This one felt a little bit, well, kind of lacking in story progression. Mostly because I'm not that good when it comes to romance. But to be honest, guys, sorry if you guys didn't like how the half as way on how Momo confessed to Izuku. At any rate, next part will come out as soon as possible. Please hit that like button and subscribe to keep up with my other videos as well. It helps out my channel a lot. At any rate, this is Leon Moki, signing out. Later. A couple weeks before the summer camp, both Izuku and Momo actually started to go on a couple of little dates, mostly around a movie theater. Uh, they walk around the park a little bit. And not only that, uh, Momo has met, well, In Izuku's mom, Inko. And she is, and she's more surprised that Izuku brought home a cute girl and being his first girlfriend. Of course, Izuku is embarrassed a lot, and same, same with Momo. But the two, but she approves of her, seeing that she's a smart and capable girl. Uh, even Izuku has met Momo's parents too. They see Izuku has tons of potential as a great hero as well. However, they're not sure about him dating their daughter yet. But she does show that he's a great, honest, kind, and always caring person. And he's never let anyone down before. They take her, their daughter's word for what she says, but they still want to see Izuku grow more as a person. And Izuku promises that he'll always protect Momo, no matter what. And that's how they met. However, a couple weeks have passed, and they're ready to go to the su to the summer camp. As everyone's ready, alongside Class 1B as well. With Monoma still basically, well, looking down on Class 1A. Seeing, seeing that a couple of them are be taking remedial classes, just as usual. As Ochiko is hyped to go to summer camp alongside Izuku. As Izuku also says that he's looking forward to it as well. However, also, Ochako still have feelings for Izuku. And she doesn't know that Izuku and Momo are now dating. So, there's... So, not, not, not just that, but also everyone else in Class 1A as well. So, yeah. Even so... She still gets flustered around Izuku a lot. With Momo also being beside, beside Izuku wondering about Ochiko. Thinking that she may have feelings for Izuku. But she just didn't, doesn't bother about it just yet. As both. As Izuku tells everyone to get, to get on the bus and prepare, and prepare to leave. And, since he still is class rep after all. As they all prepare. As they get to the, their destination, being a cliff on the other side, where two heroes, being cat girls, come out, being Mandalay and Pixie Bob from Wow Wow Pussycats, 
as Izuku gets ner- begins nerding out about both about both of them and nerds out and explains everything about their team and all that with Pixie Bob still ho- still basically grabbing Izuku's face and everything saying that she's 18 at heart and both Kirishima and Sero saying so pathetic and they Mandalay explains that their that their summer camp will be at their be at their lodge which they'll all which is 30 minutes away as everyone says that's far so and they can be wondering why did they stop there it began until Izuku began realizing oh god no please don't let this happen don't let this be it with Momo saying Izuku you okay I think we need to get on the bus now before they real before they realize it, Pixie Bob used her quirk to push them all off the cliff as usual and knocking them down into the forest. Which Mandalay tells them that they have permission to use their quirks to get there. Telling them they have at least two hours to get there if they fight through the forest anyway. So so they can go all out as much as they want. Is easy. As Izuku realized that, I guess we should expect this from Mr. Aizawa. He wouldn't be, do- he wouldn't have done that if he didn't. As a monster shows, as everything goes as usual, monster shows in the beast forest created by Pixie Bob, as both Shoto, Ida, and Bakugo alongside Izuku destroy it. But with Izuku, he actually uses a new sword that he, that he created. And the sword is similar to that of Stains, actually. And it's not this it's not the same it doesn't look the same as Stains, but the craftsmanship is kind of the same. As he's, as Ida gets wondering, Midoriya, tell me, why do you have a sword like that? As Izuku says, if you're wondering, yes, it's it looks like Stain's sword, but it isn't. If it's a lot more longer, and the cras- and the craftsmanship is different, so I decided to take up a new fighting style, and and I need this sword to do that. Look, we- I'll explain later. Right now, we need to get through this. As everyone in Class One A agrees as well, and they take and they take down all the beasts in the in the forest. With t- with no time flat, with Izuku not being able to be hold- holding himself back, he actually switches between his bow and swords pretty pretty easily. At least th- it takes him at least five seconds for him to materialize both his bow and multi- and his multiple swords. He doesn't use Excalibur or Caliber in this though, and he doesn't use his unlimited blade works either. Saving that for another time if he needs to. As for that, everyone soon arrive, arrives at the at the summer camp destination. With all of them being a little bit tired, with Izuku feeling kind of exhausted as well. Feeling like his arms are on fire. With every with Mandalay surprised that they made it in made it in time. Actually, it took Saying that it would took them a lot longer. That saying that an hour would have been easy for them. With Sato getting irritated saying, So you were bragging? Ugh. With Pix- Pixie Bob was excited seeing how good everyone else is. And then pointed at both Izuku, Bakugo, Shoto, and Ida. And saying, and saying that she has dibs on all of them. As usual, with her of her obsessing over over the four of them. However, Izuku asked about Dakota, began wondering on who he is. When Mandalay saying that he's her cousin's kid and be staying with them, as Izuku get, began wondering, began going over there asking, "Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Izuku Midoriya. What's your name?" 
Before that, he basically punched Izuku in the in the nards, just as usual, just like in canon, with both eat with Ida basically getting angry at at Koda saying, "How a punch through the scrotum? How could you, you speakable child?" As Koda tells him, "Like I want to be around some wannabe heroes." As Ida says, "Wannabe? How old are you, kid?" As Momo runs over to Izuku, wondering if he's going to be okay. As Bakugo saying, Well, that kid's got spirits. But I do got to admit, that was pretty harsh. As Shoto says, he's like a minier virgin than you. Bakugo still getting pissed off at Shoto, saying, What the hell did you say, Icy Hot? Shut the hell up before I kill you. Just like in canon, after the whole bath scene, Izuku began knowing about the truth about Koda, about how he despises heroes because his parents were the water holes heroes that died protecting people, like the what an honorable way for a hero to go out. However, Izuku wants to help Koda realize that dying as a hero, prote- always protecting others, is what is what a hero does. So begin and begins wondering what he can do to show Koda that heroes are always meant to protect others, no matter the cost to themselves. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it a lot. Please tell me what you think below down in the comments. And also, if you guys like the video, please leave a like and subscribe to keep up with my other videos as well. I would really appreciate it. And you're right. This is Leon Moki signing out. Later.